Hi everybody. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can make a, uh, a zombie AI in Unreal Engine 5. Uh, and previously I told you how to make third person shooter. So here we have some asset we need to import in our project. You will find it in the resource. So we have zombie attack 1 2, uh, zombie death, uh, zombie idle, zombie run and zombie death sound. so we are in uh, we have our animation folder so we selected our five animation and drag and drop to the folder and when we drag and drop there is a window show we need to select a skeleton so i search as skeleton skeleton we have two but i select which is in the infinity blade warriors and i import all there are total five animation we'll import uh, to attack uh, a death uh, idle and uh, run so we if we open we can see the attack right and left and the idle and run and death so i save it all now i will uh, import my zombie death sound i just drag and drop the wave format sound and it import <laughs> save all now we created many blueprint now i created uh, another blueprint it's a uh, ai blueprint artificial intelligent so i create a folder i name it ai so right button i create a blueprint class which is a character i name it a zombie master i name it bp zombie master bp in the first i double click it I will use this as the as the uh, uh, frost uh, giant, which is look like a kind of zombie, and I think it's perfect. So when I import it, it's uh, top of the capsule. So I give the payload to the location z axis minus ninety and rotation z axis minus ninety, and it will fit in the capsule. So we need to now create an animation blueprint and a blend this space 1D. I can right button and go to animation and select our skeleton and create one. But I think I will use uh, our existing uh, blend this space 1D and uh, animation blueprint. So I select my previous two and just drag and drop and I copy it. So I rename my zombie blend this space 1D and a zombie anim uh, blueprint. So now I do my zombie blend if space 1D. Previously I have a run idle walk and run. I will delete it, select uh, the point and delete, press the delete button and I add a zombie idle and zombie run. If we press shift it will place in the grid. We can see the animation. I save it we I can place it in like uh, 600 or 500 value depends on you which value you want to give also you can decrease the speed size the speed limit in character movement so I go to the zombie anim blueprint I go to the anim graph and I have locomotion and inside the locomotion I have many state so I don't need it, just delete it and drag and drop the blend space 1D but I can delete all of it and use the simple way 
because our zombie don't need to jump so i go to the anime graph delete the locomotion drag and drop the zombie blend space 1d i add the speed and before i uh, add the two output pose i add a default slot i use this because i will use uh, any montage and without this any montage won't play so i add it so i think it's good now i go to the event graph and i will delete is in air and uh, run logic delete the movement also so i think it's fine you can also delete the variable is in air or run but i don't delete it but you feel free and delete it i have now uh, the animation just add the animation to anim class and now you can see our zombie have animation now i go to event graph delete whatever in here i don't need it now i add our code in here the zombie when the zombie see us see me zombie come forward to me and attack me plane to animation so for scene i add a component that is spawn sensing you can uh, control the visual angle if you give to like 40 it's uh, 40 50 is a basic human angle but i give it 90 because it's a zombie compile and save and now i add uh, on c pawn pawn sensing uh, select the pawn and add this uh, event now from here i add a pawn cypher character and i add a branch i create a variable also uh, the variable should be boolean i name it target question mark i add it now i add a custom event right button add a custom event i name it attack on player and when our target is false then we will execute our attack on player now i add a ai move to on attack one player and i add a billion play uh, i add it because i want to add a reference in here get player character and from there i add a class to cypher character and from there i create a variable which i name player I add the player, drag and drop, and the pawn should be self as the zombie is the pawn. I add the player in the target actor, and I also should add the destination. The destination is our player actor location. I make it little back. on the destination and when it's a success i add the target it should be true now i just drag and drop to the mesh and from here i add a any montage so when we go near the player we play two anim montage uh, add up from right hand and add up from left hand we have animation and now we need to create montage select the animation right button create anim montage select right button create anim montage and select right button create create anim montage 
we create three nm montage which we need to use in future and from the mesh play montage add with our target and from the montage to play Uh, zombie attack one montage and complete at this i add attack one on my montage one i attack uh, i add uh, attack two on play montage two i also add the skeletal mesh component I add the delay to 3 I later add the target point which is value which is false now compile and save now we need to add uh, another component which is uh, if we search from the play sector nav mesh component so basically nav mesh is the thing without nav mesh our ai cannot move from one place to another place so i just drag and drop the nav mesh boundary volume and i just scale it using scale tool if we press r we can have the scale tool and w from the move tool so i cover the whole area from the x y and z axis and I make it a middle and the top so now if we press P and now we can see a uh, green area if we move our nav mesh it will cover the area where is the nav mesh so I save all I drag and drop to the zombie zombie master and I just place it here otherwise the zombie can see our player when we start and we start to attack so let us uh, let us check our code is work or not if we go in front of the zombie zombie will uh, chase us and when it reaches us zombie will play more animation yes when uh, the zombie reach uh, the zombie play to animation attack left and right so it uh, delay three seconds but we can not delay it uh, so when it's uh, when the uh, animation montage to complete we directly add to the boolean set boolean so it will now not uh, wait it will just attack play to animation then if we go come to us and attack to animation so this is how it works whenever we go it will follow us and it will chase us it will go come near us and play animation so this is the simple uh, zombie ai uh, next tutorial i will show you more so goodbye everybody